can't remember. Let me actually have a look on good old Wikipedia. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, third one, week one. Okay, so it looks like Baby actually didn't play. Uh, didn't play StarCraft 2, that is. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Oh, no, he. Wait. Oh, no, he was lined up to play against Youngjae in week one, but then, like, teammate got crushed, so he didn't actually get to play. Okay. Okay. So, it's gonna be a TBT on some map that I'm not actually sure. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see what the map is. Dun -da -da -da. Baby. One loss this season in Brood War. He lost to uh, Effort, actually, on uh, Sniper Ridge. Oh, right. Yeah, actually, uh, get rid of that bar at the bottom. There's some more water as well. Oh, fantastic. So, man, Baby looks a little bit nervous here. I mean, it's understandable considering he's playing Flash. But he kind of looks nervous in that way that's like, he's about to go on like his first date, you know? He's like 13 years old, he's going on his first date with a girl, and he's kind of, you know, really shy and bashful. It's like that kind of nervous. It's not the kind of nervous that's like, oh my god, I'm about to play a game of StarCraft 2 against God. Please don't kill me too badly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, they're kind of different. They're kind of different. <clears throat> anyway, doing the intro. Now, we already saw a very exciting back and forth TBT in uh, the last series between CJ and SKT. Um, it was Fantasy versus. Uh, Sky High? Oh shit, I can't, I can't believe I forgot already. God damn. Whatever, someone will say it in the chat. Ooh, resolution change. Hello. Oh, BB Young, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, B Dog, how could I forget? Oh man, I'm sorry, B Dog. Alright, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, Flash is going to be the red Terran at the bottom left, and that would make Baby the blue Terran at the top right. Uh, of course, KT is up 1 0 in this uh, best of three, so if Flash wins this, then we will go straight to Ace Match. If Baby wins, then we'll have one more set to see who wins the uh, SE2 portion, since uh, teammate has already won the brutal portion of the series. So, looks like guys can build depot there. Good stuff, good stuff. Building supply depots is a pretty useful skill. And there is a depot for Flash. O M G. So yeah, it's uh, it'll be interesting to see what styles these guys go for. I mean, so far I've ba we've basically seen all three of the major uh, styles. So we've seen pure bio versus pure mech in ro or sorry in turn versus. Uh, light, and then we saw some sick biomech versus biomech, good old marine tank, uh, last series. And uh, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what these guys go for. Of course, Flash's brood or mech play is absolutely brutal to watch. He just like, I mean, plays it down to perfection. He is the Terminator. Um, but Baby is no slouch himself. <laughs> Let's see if uh, if he's any good at StarCraft 2. Oh, not hiding her face. Hey, it's that guy again. Guys, that guy that guy definitely looks like Michael J. Fox, right? It's not just me, is it? That guy definitely looks like Michael J. Fox. Anyway. Uh, it's gonna be a one wait, did he command center first? I was about to say one Rex expand, but that is that actually command center first? I think that's actually command center first build from uh, from Flash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is, and so Flash Kind of busting out his Brutor style here. Flash, of course, at one point in his Brutor career, went 14 command center every single game. And he got cheese out of quite a few games because of it, but still, he just kept doing it over and over. Uh, meanwhile, it is just a normal 1 rex expand from Baby, so the build order is already slightly favoring Flash. And. Man, Flash, what a baller. What a boss. What a boss. 
Anyway, uh, I think his SCB saw the command center as well of uh, a baby. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading my stream chat because you guys are so interesting. Seriously, I have some of the the, the wittiest viewers ever. Anyway, gonna make that stream to an orbital. Yep. And see, that's already done. And baby's is like barely halfway done. Uh, baby looks like he's ending on a lot of barracks actually before his gas. Start massing up those marines. I wonder if he'll try and do some kind of uh, early pressure. But looks like Flash has already got two barracks up first. This is so interesting. Look at this. Flash got his command center up first, and he's got two barracks up first. But Baby, of course, does have the third barracks. So, well, it looks like Baby going to go for the double gas now. Flash still hasn't taken any gases. Watch him just like only make barracks and marines and just win because he's awesome. That'd be quite funny to see, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, actually, I, I clicked out, so we have this annoying thing at the bottom, walking the minimap. My bad, I'm sorry. Didn't notice. That, that, that just shows, like, how good of an observer I am. There's, like, this giant thing blocking a quarter of my minimap, and I just don't notice. Ugh, clearly skillful. Anyway, looks like, uh, just seeing the income difference here. So Flash, obviously, uh, a lot more minerals, but no gas income. I've got his double orbitals, he's got his three racks pumping, he's got his gas going now, and he's going straight for an eBay here. Looks like he's going for some fast upgrades. Um, that's very, very Flash-esque. I mean, he, in Brood War, he kind of pioneered uh, going for fast armory in TVP, uh, getting that, that fast plus one, and then getting a fast, uh, getting double armories and going fast 2-1 for, for his mech. Um, so it's interesting to see him bring that here into, into StarCraft 2. Interestingly, this is also very reminiscent to me of, uh, like, uh, like in Brood War TVZ, where you go, like, fast, uh, do, you, like, one racks expand and then do a fast engineering bay and do, like, a plus one, four or five racks. Although, obviously, it's, like, it's, it's not really the same, because it's TVT here, and, and it's a different game, but, yeah, I don't know, it just reminded me of that. Anyway, so, uh... It looks like both players are going for the biofocus. I think that's a good idea on this map. I mean, there's a lot of roundabout paths on this map, so um, it's very easy to do like counterattacks and whatnot with bio. Uh, it doesn't seem to me like a particularly good map for mech. Um, but anyway, looks like, yeah, plus one well on its way. Man, Flash is going to completely... Well, actually, no, hold on. Plus one is actually on the way for Baby as well. I didn't notice him getting his engineering bay. But both players going for uh, pretty quick upgrades here. I think it's a good idea. Medic Marine, or rather just Marines. <laughs> there's no medics! There's no medics! I'm sorry. Marines benefit quite a bit from these early upgrades because of their uh, low uh, damage per shot but high rate of fire. And it looks like we're going to have an, uh, an engagement here. Baby being a little bit aggressive, but Flash, I think he has more Marines. The SCB going to try and help out a little bit. But Flash also has Defender's Advantage, and wow. Very curious attack. Oh my goodness. The last of the Marines getting taken down there. Not a good idea at all for Baby. I'm not sure what he was thinking there, like, it, it, it's not even, because it's even too late to try and punish the early expansion, like, it's not like, oh, he was, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to try and, you know, do a really early marine timing attack or something, and, and catch him before he gets anything, it's like, this is, this is, the 14cc has been well finished, and I don't, I don't know what he thought he could accomplish there. Um, anyway, wait, what? Oh, I think, are people debating, like, what I meant by Defender's Advantage? Yeah, it is just, it is just, um, faster reinforcements. Like, that's all. That's, that's like, that's like the only advantage you get in StarCraft 2, right? It's like, because there's no high ground, and there's like, I don't know, there's so many things that control space as well, like force fields and stuff, so even if you're a defend, even if you're the defender, you don't necessarily get to abuse a better position. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, but like rapid high ground don't really do anything. Oh shit, taskbar. God damn. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, looks like the uh, couple medivacs out now for Flash, so he's going to go for a counter attack here. Um, now Baby already got a siege tank out. And I think, no, it looks like uh, C Shang on the way for Flash as well, getting his uh, plus two attack, I believe that is. Um, looks like Slim about to finish for Baby. A nice little sensor tower, actually. Baby is placed on the very left edge of his base. It's very nice. So basically, what this means is uh, he's going to be able to keep most of these units. Whoa, what? Uh, stop that. 
Man, that zoom in always like confuses me. Anyway, um, Baby's gonna keep be able to keep most of his forces as natural, and if Flash tries to do some kind of drop into the main base from the top, uh, he's gonna be able to see it with the sensor tower. So I think that's a really nice sensor tower positioning for him. It's relatively early in the game to have a sensor tower, but I think it's a good investment. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like in the you know in the other SE2 games I've watched, uh, Terrans generally don't get the sensor towers until at least like their third base is up. But I think this is a good idea. And in the meantime, Flash is putting on a little bit of pressure. Got a ton of Marines. Uh, but it looks like Baby Siege Mode is finished already. Flash is Siege Mode not even halfway done. So Baby gets a couple of Siege Tanks in good positions, he'll be fine. But Flash has actually got a 20 supply lead already here. I mean, you know, he did have a slight advantage already from the build orders going Command Center first. And then Baby, of course, did the suicide attack. But meanwhile, now we can see the uh, the first engagement here. Both players actually stimming the Marines. There's no tanks are sieged. It looks like a lot of Baby's Marines actually got caught in the back there. So Baby, uh, or rather Flash, had a much better arc. But it looks like Baby has Siege Tanks in position. Flash going for it. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty even exchange here. Um, Flash still keeping about a 20 supply lead and is going to pull back now. Very, very interesting stuff. As you can see, both players is going mass marine medevac siege tank. Pretty standard stuff nowadays in TBT. And let's see what Flash does. Actually, now that I think about it, wasn't the, uh, like the Flash FP VOD game on this map as well? Like the Flash vs. Quiet Rice game? I don't know. I didn't actually watch that, but I think it was on this map. And people were like, oh my god, it's Flash playing StarCraft 2! Anyway, uh, looks like Armory's done already, of course, just getting that so he can keep going on his uh, Marine upgrades. Of course, uh, for Brutal players, they don't really understand that. In SE2, the requirements for uh, plus 2 uh, infantry weapons and armor is actually an Armory and not a Science Facility. The more you know... Oh, it looks like I was right about the Quiet Rice thing too. Sweet! Anyway, looks like uh, Flash is keeping, holding on to this position at the left side. Now, the sensor tower sees everything, so Flash's uh, medevac is moving in. And he's just going to scan here first, but oh, look at this. Preemptive turrets by Baby. Interestingly though, see, Baby had that, has had that third command center for a while now, but he can't actually go and take his third because Flash is uh, holding that position. Whereas Flash, I think, is actually building a, his command center directly at his own third base. Uh, but it looks like another big engagement here, and Flash actually manages to close with the Siege Tanks. Focus down the Siege Tanks. Flash actually takes the battle convincingly. I think Baby's Marines, I'm pretty sure, were just out of position or something, but were not really cover he pulled them back a little bit too far, and they weren't covering the siege tanks anymore, so Flash just takes out all those siege tanks. Now Baby going in for this uh, 8 Marine drop at Flash's third, there's no SCVs there just yet, I think he might want to wait a couple of uh, seconds for the SCV transfer so he can kill those. But man, Baby in some serious trouble. He's down 40 supply now. 150 uh, free supply for Flash against the 114 for Baby. And Baby's drop does get spotted by a well-placed spotting supply depot of Flash. Although it looks like Flash might not have actually noticed that. Uh, he has sent a few Marines back now. But oh, it looks like more engagements at the front. He might be too focused here uh, at the front. Uh, the Marines in the back doing a nice job. There's a few reinforcing Marines of Flash, but there's no medevacs to heal them. It looks like uh, Baby just going to pick up and go drop at Flash's third. Going to deny modding there for a little bit longer. But Flash is just looking dominant in this game. Uh, and you know if he wins then we'll just go to an ace match. It's like uh, one Marine accidentally loaded in that medevac. But damn. Guys, go to Reddit, go to Twitter. Flash is playing TBT SC2 and he is owning at it. And looks like he's gonna go clear up the rest of this drop. Uh, boom. Bye bye medevac. And oh, whoa, baby getting a little bit too close there. Getting hit by all the siege tanks, Flash did a huge stim on his marines that wasn't actually necessary, but I think that was, that was fine. I mean, he got a bunch of marine kills. Looks like uh, Baby's still unable to take his third. I wonder if it might be worth trying to like take the uh, the 3 o'clock third, or, or trying to take a hidden expansion at one of the corner expos. Because he's never going to get that command center out. Like He's not going to take that position. And he's just falling further and further behind. Flash now has a 50 supply lead. Look at that, look at that macro. Flash staying under like 200 minerals the whole game, and is actually maxed already, despite like constant harassment and engagement. This is so awesome. Looks like a threatening the orbital command there once again. Baby trying to siege up into better positions here. He's gonna be a little bit careful though. If he moves too uh, too far out on that cliff, Flash can actually just scan, run up, and just kill the siege tanks. Uh, in the meantime, oh, uh, man, Baby has like no dudes. Baby, man, where are your dudes? Okay, Baby's actually counterattacking with his dudes, but Flash, look at this, already in position, Flash. He knows, man, he knows. He knows what you're thinking. Flash is like Santa Claus, you know? 
If you're naughty, then he will know about it. And GG from Baby. Flash takes out Baby in game number two. And KT takes the StarCraft 2 portion 2-0 here. Flash, once, I mean, as, as many other players, having difficulty opening those doors. I'm really curious about those doors. Looks like Baby's fine, though. Oh, no, somebody opened the door for him. Wow. That's BM. The cast for Raph was just like, oh, man, poor Baby. Let me, let me just open the door for him. <clears throat> So yeah, we are going to an ace! Pretty sick game.